Lots of people think that having a pet python is a bad idea. Florida's Python Patrol couldn't agree more. They're trying to catch the thousands of pythons damaging the fragile Everglades. It all started when pet owners changed their minds and simply let the problem slither away. Now the only choice is to hunt the predators. Fusion's Nicolás Ibarwen rode along with the snake catchers and tried not to get too close. The Florida Everglades is one of America's most diverse ecosystems and now home to invasive species like the Burmese python. This is like paradise for Burmese pythons. Scientists estimate that there are tens of thousands of pythons here and these snakes are at the top of the food chain, a threat that could damage the ecosystem. No natural predators, they can eat just about everything. Cheryl Millet is a biologist with the Nature Conservancy. She started the Python Patrol program to keep the snake's population in check. These animals, she says, don't belong here. We shouldn't be bringing things here that, that will muck up the environment. Researchers believe that pythons ended up in the Everglades because exotic pet owners let them loose when they got too big for their home. With the snake's population booming, Python Patrol trains ordinary citizens like me to spot and catch these animals. Oh my God. Today, Jeff is showing me how to catch snakes at his property. He houses about a dozen of these reptiles for training purposes. You have to decide what the largest animal you feel comfortable capturing by yourself is. Okay. Jeff Fobb is an animal specialist with the Miami-Dade Fire Department's Venom Unit. So I like to work with the animal near the ground. Wisely, he's starting me off with the smaller of the two snakes I'm going to catch today. Have them just like this, moving away from me. Because if they're not focused on me, I can come up I can pin her head and see she's pulling back right into my hand. So it's very simple. It's very simple. If I let her go, she's going to ignore me again. So again, pin and there, she's going to pull back into my hand. I just try to keep enough of a grip to maintain control of the animal. You're ready. Use the rubber end of the hook. You're ready. How, how, how hard? I put my knuckles all the way to the ground. The wait, from here? Uh-huh, right, right there, all the way to the ground. Because they're, that's not going to hurt them and, and it's not going to... Go ahead. Yeah, ready? Go. Now put your hand in there real quick. Grab him. Hold, hold off. I like to feel. Oh my see God. It? And you're gonna put the hook down? The hook down? Yeah. The hook down. Oh, yeah. Okay. You wanna get your bag? Yes. <laughs> I wanna get my bag. <laughs> hold on the same way and take your other hand out. Now invert that bag over the top of him. With the first snake in the back, Jeff now wants to give me something a little bit more challenging. Yeah, this one will make it worth, worth your time if you want to. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm not sure about that. Uh. Woo. Woo. Look how big that is. Woo. Let her think she's getting away. Go. Oh my God. <laughs> she wants to get me, man. Go, move in, move in. Ah. Oh, she's quick, man. <laughs> move your hand up. Way, way up, way, way up on it. You want it, you want it right here. Right there. Go ahead, move in. And feel the difference in power in this animal. And see, when she tries to protect herself, she brings her coils around your lower body. Wow, she's is strong, that, man. Compared to the other one, Very it's strong. night and day. Don't let go one? over it yet. Okay. Let go, real quick. Kind of throw it out. <laughs> Woo. Woo. Man, that was strong. The snake strength made it feel like it weighed 100 pounds. Its actual weight was only 35 pounds. I can only imagine how difficult it must be when it's caught in the wild like this. That was awesome, guys. You got a perfect headshot on. Piece of cake. Yeah. Eric Rates is one of the people trained. He is on patrol for pythons while working as a tour guide in the Everglades. We're narrating, we're talking about the Everglades. But in the back of our mind, there's always a thought that, you know, there's maybe today's the day we're going to catch another python. Eric has caught three pythons so far. <laughs> what do they do with animals when they catch them? Most of these animals are euthanized. I mean, where... That's so sad. I mean, it's not, it's, it's it's not even their sad. fault. It's horribly sad. But you got to think that an animal, that this was a pet. This is an yeah. albino. No albinos have been caught in the wild. But the ones that have grown up in the wild, especially a snake this size that is afraid of people and looks yeah. at people as a potential threat, yeah. is a potentially dangerous animal. Scientists say programs like these 
will not eradicate pythons now thriving in the Everglades. So, is it worth the hunt or let nature restore balance with a new predator? With programs like these, this predator is now prey to the mightiest of all hunters.